that's just so satisfying. No doubt at some point during your photography or video making journey, you will come across filters for your lenses. Certain filters, ND filters, circular polarizing filters, mist filters, filters that can create a unique look to your images. Well, that's what we're gonna be discussing in this video, specifically this unique magnetic filter system from Freewell. So filter systems are not new. They have been around for ages. Now with digital cameras being so super sharp and so precise, a lot of people are trying to roll it back, trying to gain a little bit more character through the lenses, a slightly different look, trying to take away that digital look to the images. Now, if you followed this channel for a while, you know I've been trying to find lenses which have a lot of character in them. Now, this is another way to add character to your already existing lenses using filter systems but this specific filter system is very unique in terms of it is magnetic so you can literally just take your filter out of the bag and attach it to the camera lens super super easy and not just that you can actually just keep adding the fillers to the front so you can stack up all of your filter so if you're using an ND filter to reduce the amount of light coming in if you're shooting wide apertures. You can just keep stacking them on the front of this lens because it's magnetic. And it also comes with a great magnetic lens cap on the front. So right off the bat, the actually only downside for me is the kind of the ergonomics of this filter cap and some of the filters. I would like to see a little bit more of a rebate inside. I don't know if you can see that there. We'll see that. It's very, very thin. Trying to get your fingers in there and pull it off. Uh, the magnets are actually quite strong. So that was the only issue I've ever found. But apart from that, the rest of it has been an absolute dream to use. So what filters do we have? Which ones have they sent out? They have actually sent out a blue streak filter. Now this is quite a unique filter. This kind of gives you that anamorphic type flare look within your videos. But not just videos or photos. A lot of people do talk about these just for videos, but there's a lot of use for these within your photography as well. And the next filter we have, this is the ND32. Now, this is a great strength. It's about, I think, to five or six stop ND filter. Now, I find that when I'm shooting outside in bright sunshine at 1.8 aperture, this type of ND filter, five or six stop, is perfect for balancing the background ambient light to my strobes as well. I get that nice balance. I've always found that. So I've went for the ND32 because of most of my lenses are at 1.8 aperture, the widest they go. So this works super well with that size aperture. And the next one they have sent out, which is super, super handy, is the CPL filter. Now these are great for taking away reflections and windows, on cars, on jewelry, um, and overall kind of giving a bit more of a contrast to your image. But the CPL filters are super handy and super versatile in lots of different aspects of video creating and photography as well. Now, the last one, which is really interesting, one which I haven't actually tried out yet, which I'm looking forward to trying out, is the mist filter. This is a, this is a glow mist, a quarter glow mist. And what this does is kind of blooms all the highlights within your video as well. It kind of gives that like, a soft glow around all the highlights. Great tip as well is always go for the larger size filter systems you have because you can actually step them down. As you can see on this lens here, I actually have step down rings. So best thing to do, by large, and then you can just step them down and use them on every single lens instead of having to keep buying more and more filters. Now, Freewell actually do do their own step down rings, um, which look like that. This one goes from a 52 to an 82 millimeter. It's exactly the same. So that would go on the front of your smallest lens and then them would just follow exactly the same. So you can't actually buy them, but I actually find using step down rings a lot better because it's more versatile than just buying more rings like that. But the choice is yours. I just kind of, I've had the step down rings, so I'm using them on my lenses. Just makes life a lot easier. And the only one I have to screw in is the base layer. So you go folks, that is the free well filter system, the magnetic filter system. Super, super handy. Links will all be in the description below if you want to go and check those out. I've got to say, this was sent out for me. I did not pay for it, but I'm super impressed. Super, super impressed. I actually never, I've never came across a magnetic filter system before, and I am very, very impressed at how this works. So 
I'm going to enjoy using that in the future. So there you go. I hope you have found this useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and why not consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe even flicking that notification bell so you can see when more videos like this are posted. And I will see you guys in the next one. See you then.